Hi Steph, thanks for coming today. Um, can you tell us a little bit about where you were born and where you were raised and some of your early formative years? Um, born in uh, County Durham, um, from a village uh, called South Hetton and uh, pretty much lived there until the age of 18 and um, managed to start playing football. Um, I was about seven or eight for Sunderland and managed to get scouted at a local holiday course and uh, pretty much from there had the support of my family, got a really big family who were very sporting as well and um, ever since then just love football for um, everything that I want to do and it's, it's me, I'm so lucky to call it my job. Yeah. I mean we often hear of uh, problems or challenges for girls wanting to play football but it sounds as though you had the opposite, you had loads of support. Yeah of course I think I um, came from the North East and it loves its football up there and I was very privileged to have a supportive family and no matter what me or my brother wanted to do, they would all support them. In my case, it was football, and I came from um, a village that loved its football, so whether you're a girl or a boy, they're always quite supportive to let you go and play, and that was the case in um, in South Hetton, that they wanted me to play football, and they knew that I had a little bit of talent, and they supported that. In the North East, where you, you, you were born and lived, um, it's got a rich heritage and history of people coming from other countries and very diverse backgrounds. Is that something that you've experienced yourself and mixed with people from different cultures and religions? Yeah, of course. I think being a part of football and being a part of the English national team, you're going to um, come across that. And I think especially where I was from, it was very much the case that yeah, you met people from different cultures. But I think that benefited me as a person because you get to know a lot more people and a lot more what people believe in and how they are as people. And I think that... Um, it was a great benefit to me and all I can think of is that it's a positive way of being around people from different cultures. There's um, quite a lot of negative press at the moment towards um, people who are classed as immigrants, but you know, people are immigrating all over the, the world. Have you had any experiences of that and are you aware of some of the bad press? I think um, if you watch the news every day there's always some sort of story and uh, you don't really want to see that highlighted as much as you possibly can, but it's part of the world now. We're going to get people from different countries into our country and vice versa. And I think it's important that we do give and take a bit. And I think it's for us as a culture and us as a, um, a country, it's just to be try and be a bit more positive and not focus on the negatives that we try to tend to do in the news um, every day. When, um, when you've been back home and growing up as a child, did you experience any racism or witness any racism towards people you knew? Um, not necessarily at home, I think um, being part of football and um, playing in competitions like the Champions League, you do sometimes witness that and um, it's not very nice to witness and especially if it's one of your teammates, you don't wish that upon anybody. So I think when it does happen, I think it's just important that it gets reported straight away and um, whether that's to your coach or to a friend or to the FA, it's uh, just important that we try and stamp it out as much as we possibly can. Yeah. Is that the advice that you'd give to any young person, someone who's not involved with football, or the school children for example? Yeah, I think it's important that people are not made to feel uncomfortable in any scenario or any situation. I think if you can report as early as you possibly can then as a country and as potentially a school they can try and stamp that out as quick as we can and hopefully we don't have any racism um, anywhere in the world and I think it's not nice to know that it potentially could be a friend that has that so I'd definitely say just report as soon as you can to whether that's a teacher, a friend, a family member because we don't want any discrimination especially in football or in any other sport. There's, unfortunately there's been quite a, a number of high in, profile incidences within football with racism, some very recently um, have you got any thoughts on how football's doing to, to combat that at all? Maybe at your own club or what you've, you've seen and observed? I think football's making great strides. I think obviously show races and red cards have been a very success, successful campaign. I think um, the more that we can support them type of campaigns, I think football is a good tool to use to try and stamp out racism, not necessarily in sport but just in, in general and allow people to have a lot more knowledge about the subject and how it does affect people and I think as a country and as a culture we're trying to stamp that out as much as we possibly can so I think we're making great strides in that area. Show racism, the red card. <laughs>